So I'm gonna see how well this works. Um, I'm here at the Crown Plaza Airport, Louisville Airport. It's, oh, you can come through. So I'm here at the uh, hotel where Wonderfest takes place. Wonderfest is an annual science fiction fantasy horror modeling show. Um, this is the second year that they've actually had it post pandemic. Last year, I was just commenting to a friend of mine not that long ago, last year, it seemed like there were a whole lot of people and you could tell um, from the line and I'm gonna show you shortly. Uh, this year, there's actually more. This is the line for, there's, um, there's already registration, which took place yesterday. This was the main registration to get your weekly passes, your daily passes, and over here was registration for, um, you know, registering your models. So I'm gonna head down the hallway and see what we can see. This is the first year I've, I've actually experimented a little bit with using the movie. I have a shirt for you. So this is a quick glance. You didn't say two last right? To our vendor room. It's only 8.40, it hasn't opened up. Oh, you're good? Now this is a live, this is giving a live shot. This is John Lester, he just walked by. It's famous Starship Mahler. And you can see, the show hasn't even started yet. The doors haven't opened up for the early bird, but um, it's still already jam-packed. So that's the larger of the vendor rooms. We're gonna go down to the smaller of the vendor rooms. And again, once they open up, um, I'll be able to get inside and show you, uh, show you good people who are looking, watching this video, what it looks like. So this is the smaller of the two rooms, but you can see there's still a whole lot of stuff happening. I'm really digging that, um, looks like it's the one-to-one -one scale of hands, Hans, frozen and carbonized. So generally this room is reserved for um, a lot of the guest artists, guest actors, actresses, people doing um, autographs. Actually, here we go. I really love this show. So I'm gonna take a quick glance inside. And this is what I was talking about. This line that I'm about to show you is the line for the people entering their models in the contest. So straight across, that's actually Iwata's um, room that they had the meet and greet. One time you gotta catch me without my cap. I know, and I'm putting it on the internet too. There he is. What's up, bro? Hey, how you doing? Good to see you. I I'm gonna send you a link. My phone back here. So again, this is the line of people waiting to get in to put their models into the contest. So the line goes on and on and on. And on. And on. This is where it ends. So hopefully I'll be gay, able to get in soon enough. Very, very large scale X-Wing. Beautiful. That's pretty much it. So this is, you're probably gonna discover, this is gonna be the norm for the show. There's just gonna be lines, really long lines. Um, almost anything, any events that are taking place. Again, um, in about 40 minutes, the early bird special, that's people who purchased a little bit, uh, you spent a little bit more to get into the vending rooms early. The vending rooms are gonna open for them at nine. And then at 10, it's gonna open up for everybody else, but you're gonna see there's a line for them. I guess this is really good. I think this is partly rebound from COVID because the show was shut down, I think, for two years. Last year was the first year. But you're okay. First year back from COVID. So they actually had like a lot of people, I guess, you know, two years worth of modeling frustration was, uh, was, was, was pent up, was building up. So that gave them the release. And I think last year there were still some people who were on the fence, but this year I suspect it's gonna be more people 
in attendance and more models in the contest than last year. Let me stop talking.